we are here in uh, WJM, uh, WJBB, uh, 303 bus power machine, multi press machine. So I'll explain to you the, the operation of punching, bending, and cutting. Okay? This machine is, uh, there is one motor inside. So I'll just show you. So this is the breaker, main breaker. And this is the contactor. Contactor, it means one motor inside, okay? So our connection is three phase. That is a star connection for 440, 380 volts. So this is our control. So relay is there, okay? So first, uh, I will show you how to fix the, the mold in our punching section. First, this one. This one. Range. Punch and die, 12 mm punch and 12 mm die. Okay. This is the bottom and this is the uh, position. Okay. So I will express the punching. So the punching is uh, the guiding guiding on behind. So it's like this. So this is the last screw. Can check the position inside. You can see here behind, and there is a lock also in behind here. This one, this is uh, using for the oblong, oblong position, oblong uh, punch and die. This is very important for oblong position. Okay, so the direction of the oblong, even square punching, you require. So our punch lock is on the top. So this is more more safety and strong so there is no chance to lose I'm just type my range spanner 19mm so the punching is already there so you need to fix this one the, our auxiliary auxiliary stopper and our, our auxiliary stopper you can uh, apply up to 18mm punch maximum to the true stopper so you have to fix here, in the bottom. Then you need to type here in behind. Also there is one screw here. Okay. So you know what is the advantage of this one? This stopper. We have also another uh, stopper also. That is small one. I just... Uh, small one so that's the bigger one this is the small one you can punching minimum for the small punch small uh, small bus bar you can punching minimum to the area of the stopper okay so that's why we add our design is like that changeable the auxiliary stopper so it's the biggest one so after fix the auxiliary and punch then you need to fix the Die. This is the guiding hole, and we have also guiding pin here, spring type. Okay, especially this using for the oblong, oblong position. So to get the correct position of the die, especially for oblong. Okay, so this is the die lock. Our dialog, we have two screw. Okay. Easy to fix. This is more safety. Because a uh, lock by screw. Okay. So, so we 
have one uh, label also to put the bus bar uh, properly. And also we have a uh, have a guiding 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 point center point to to see the center point of the marking. If you have a center mark for the in your bus bar. So I have this kind of uh, bus bar that is 10 by 60. So I'll show you how to punching without marking. So in this machine there is also some opera operation also without marking you can use. We have a jig, jig uh, guiding, jig guiding bus bar here in behind. This is the one plate you can adjust according to your adjustment. And we have also stopper here. This stopper you can use for punching and from the packing section. So in this uh, in this uh, jig, you just uh, adjusting according to your requirements. Okay. So in this uh, in this case, in case if you want to punching nearly in the punching area, so you can make also some uh, one uh, bus bar according to your size. For example, okay. I make it, I make guide this to bus bar. This is the one of the one of idea only. I have seen to our, in our customer, it's made more easy. Okay. Okay. So now you can see I will punch now this one. One, two, three, four, without any marking. Okay. So you can see I will get the bus bar through the end and to the beside. So they can punch. They can recognize the center. Okay. So I will punch now. Pump, punching. Okay, you can start punching now. So I'll show you. So you can get properly equal level. Okay, so one. We make opposite. Two. Without marking, you can punch. You can punch the two hole. Okay. So how how you can adjust? So according to your size. You can make like that, as I told you. You just remove one plate, more fast, without adjustment the scale, okay? You just remove one, one steel, push down. So according to your size, for example, I adjust this one uh, 40, you know, uh, 40 till here, according to my size. And I make punching. That, then open it again. So that is the purpose of our jig. Okay. So you can punch in four hole without marking, but in your idea also by using the another plate and also our plate plate jig. Okay. So you want to punch in also without marking, so you can be using also our center point. Okay. In case if you want punching a center point according to your length, according to your size, so you can punch it also like that. See the center point. If you have any marking, just punch only. Okay. So at the same time, you can adjust also the length, length of the bus part here according to your size. Okay. So one of that's one of the idea. Our punching section. Okay. So now I will try to bend this one. Uh, first, I want to cut first. Here, there is uh, 200. 
example or 150 like that so for example I cut this one from the in the hole end of the hole by visual also you can see if you have any marking here in the top because there is hole here okay so you can calculate so because I don't have I have only this left this bus bar I'll cut this Cutting is in finishing. You can see very straight. Okay. Cutting is simple. So I'll try to bend. So our bending is also according to your uh, your size. You can adjust also here. If you have any marking, you can use our center point to the scale. Okay. So it's not hard. So in this our in our machine, we have also this we are calling digital encoder. Okay. So you can see there is a digital encoder there. This one our standard setting for the 10 mm. 10 mm bus bar, for example, uh, bending angle 10 mm thickness degree. Okay, the setting of the uh, digital encoder is creating for 10 degrees 256. Okay, so I just adjust 200. So hold press, zero is coming, coming three. I just 256, for example. Okay. And transfer. 5 and one is 6 this encoder you can uh, you can create any kind of angle as per of your as per of your requirements for example depends on the thickness and depends on your angle required so you can create any kind of ang angle so any requirements in your in, inside the factory you can fix it what kind of your requirements or make diary like that. So for example I make 256 10 degree they will give only 10 degree bending. Okay, see? 10 degree only. Okay. Mm -hmm. see? So if you want to you okay, if you want to increase the degree example if you want uh, 45 degree so it means that is 310 I make I just for 310 I make three I make one zero one two. I make zero oh, that's 310 okay so they will give 310 to going to 45 degree okay so let's see what happened you know the digital encoder, they are encoder following to our sensor. Sensor is here. This is the sensor gear. They have a sensor here. A gear sensor. Uh, this one. Rotary sensor, this one. This. Okay, so I'll just try again. So you can see in the area. Or if you in here. Okay, so. That is 45 degrees, okay? Mm, like that. If you want opposite, 45 degrees, you can do also 45, opposite. Okay. You can hold it in any, any room, any room position. You can manual also going up. This is the manual. In any room setting, you can up manual, okay? Our pedal is following to our setting only. 
45 degree Then we can same degree, okay? Equal 45 degrees, okay? Like that. So this is the advantage of in our machine to have digital encoder set net setting. So in case 90 degree. So 90 degrees there, 90 degree. So you need to set nine uh, 390. Three, one, two, three. Okay, that's 319 then, move. Bend this one, 90 degree. So you can see, our bus bar is center, okay? Bus bar is center. We are using this one, the, our guiding pin. This one, and this one. The reason of this guiding pin, to make center the bus bar, and equal bending also the two bus bar that become twisted okay so this is the purpose not only for that the gating pin to help the protect of the bending uh, bending unit because if you're bending from this area the pressure will come here so it will damage our bending so the proper using is should be centered okay so in case if you have big bus bar under the man then you will guide here and under the man okay like that. So in case we have 60, you can set here 60. Okay. So now I'm setting for 90 degree, so that is 390. So they will give exactly 90 degree. Okay. That is 90 degree, okay? Exactly 90 degree. Okay. Okay. That's all.